Hey guys, I'm back for a take two because the first time I recorded this video, um, turns out my external mic just died. It just died on me. And you know what's frustrating? I have no idea, I have no, no clue that that happens until I put the video files on the computer and find out there's absolutely no sound. So I'm on the internal mic, ordered a new external, but that's not your, your deal, not your problem. That's not why you're here. Olight is having a sale, another sale. And it's gonna be a Valentine's Day sale. Um, and it's gonna be right at the end of January. So I'm gonna have a whole bunch of info in the video description based on how uh, free stuff you can get based on how much you spend and all that stuff. What's real, I'm gonna have a link that's gonna take you directly to the to the sale items in the video description. So all you gotta do is click it. And for the first time, Olight has given me like a discount code to give you guys. So they have specific stuff on sale, but you can use the code that's in the video description to get yourself 10% off of anything that's not already on sale on their website that you travel to with that link. So it all works out pretty well. Now, Olight was gonna release something brand new, but they had some production problems. And so it's not ready yet, but they've got some other cool limited edition stuff that's going on sale specifically for this Valentine's Day sale. Um, and it's it's cool. And they got some, some samples of the stuff right here. Now, I packaged everything back up pretty much just like it came so that I could show you what it looks like when you get it right out of the box. Um, but just keep in mind, this is my second go at all this. Um, so we've got limited edition i5T EOS in brass, which is really nice. And the Olight O-Pen, the Open, all right, we get it, the O-Pen 2, which I had never seen before I did this video. And we, we talk about tactical pens and people joke and say, what is a tactical pen? But it actually is a category of stuff, and we'll talk about a little bit about it. Um, but, you know, so I'm going to start with the, the i5T because I have, I have shown you i5Ts in the past, and I'm going to put a little card up in the corner where you can click if you want to see it. It'll take you to a new window, I think, a new tab, and actually see a review and, you know, an outdoor actual test of the i5T. It's a really good um, and relatively simple EDC light. Um, and, you know, this is, I have a standard one just to show you, you know, this is Olight's just kind of standard i5T. This is another one with, with an ana, you know, hard anodized camel pattern. They have a few of these different ones. These are great though. If you don't want to spend um, a whole lot of money on a light with a whole lot of features, you just want a simple light, but with like really good Olight quality, the i5T is a great way to go. And it, uh, again, you can you can click that card I just showed you if you want to go to a whole review and you know outdoors and everything see how it works in the dark. But it's just got some really simple features. It's got two modes, low and high, and um, you switch just by doing this little kind of soft press, and then you can select the mode on by hard clicking it. So low, and you know you've got your two modes, two simple modes. That's what it's got. Um, for, a, you know, like I said, a lower cost than some of Olight's fancier models. But like I said, not everybody needs, you know, five different modes and a strobe and a turbo and, and you know, a thousand lumens of light. These are great for the boys, uh, especially when they're just running around and playing. Um, they're pretty rugged. So I've, I've talked about it and I showed them a lot. The special edition one is gorgeous. Now, when you get it out of the box, it comes vacuum sealed because I've seen one of these in copper, which I gave to Sam to carry around. This one is in brass. These, these ones are basically, by the way, they're a lot heavier than these standard ones, but they come vacuum sealed with a do not eat because you, know, you don't want any corrosion on this before you get it. The copper one before it and this brass one, they're beautifully done. And because it's you know solid brass, it's a bit heavier than the aluminum, but um, these things naturally over time pick up a really nice patina um, as they go. Um, <clears throat> I won't say it corro it doesn't corrode or rust the same way a steel one does, but it goes through a process called desincification, which if you've ever seen what happens to brass over time, it, it can pick up a, a, a special hue in it. You know, you can force that patina too if you want to protect it from that process happening over time. But, you know, the cool thing about these kinds of items, you know, brass or copper or something like that, is that it, it does age on its own and each one becomes very unique and different. Um, but it has the same functionality. 
uh, when you open it up, I already did this on the last video, you, you know, it comes with a battery in it, but it has this little plastic protection thing. And I'll show you what it comes with. Standard AA battery. So you can put a rechargeable one in here if you want, or it just comes with alkaline. You're, you have to replace the battery, though. There's no external charging on it. But this one is, is just a really gorgeous version of the i5T. It has a deep carry clip and it has the hat bill, you know, reversible clip so you can use it hands-free. And this is a great one if you just want to, like, add to a collection or you just, you know, you like having the limited edition stuff so you have something special. And um, it is on sale in this, in this sale. So nice way to save yourself a little bit of money and and get it. And I'll, I'll talk about the pricing on it after I show the other stuff. <clears throat> so, actually, I don't even know why I'm putting it back in there. But I really like, I really like the brass finish. Um, it's just a really nice way to go. And again, um, what is the weight on this? I'll tell you. It's almost four ounces, which is like double the weight of this one. Um, but 3.58 ounces, you can drop it from a meter and a half. It's IPX8, so it's going to survive at least one meter of water for 30 minutes. I mean, it throws light to 60 meters, 300 lumens on high power, 15 lumens on low power. Um, it, it's a pretty good, it's a pretty good, simple EDC light. So let's talk about the Open 2 or the Open 2, because I was pretty excited. Now, what is a tactical pen? I know it sounds kind of ridiculous. We throw the T word around there, but some people make this. Hinderer makes a really expensive one. Um, different companies make them. So it has some pretty nice packaging when it comes out of the box. Comes with an extra ink refill cartridge. Comes with a USB-C recharger because this is a, a pen with a, a hard aluminum anodized finish and again, special edition blue. Tactical pen is something that you can use to ruggedly write out in the field. Um, and oh, there it goes, our refill. And it also, if you know the techniques, it can be used in a self-defense capacity. If you've studied Kubaton techniques, or small baton, you know, fighting, these things have their rigidity and, and they can be used for self-defense. My best friend growing up that I've mentioned a few times, Eagle Scout and all that, and um, studied martial arts, you know, for a lot of his life, he is a whiz with a kubaton, and that's basically what this, what a tactical pen is. Some of them are a little bit more aggressive than others. Um, this thing has a great fidget factor to it because a bolt action pen. I, I could, I said before, I could play with this thing all day long. Um, and we'll we'll get to testing the pen out a little bit as we go. It has an LED in there and it is separatable. <clears throat> you can use the two on their own because this is completely sealed in there. So you could use the pen separate from the light if you want and that is, uh, by the way, how you access the USB-C charging. Also aluminum clip on there. Out of the package it has a lockout feature that lets you know that it's there. So you can use the lockout feature if you don't want to mess with it. Um, I'm actually going to turn the big light off so that we can kind of see the light a little bit here. Um, so it has a moonlight mode, a five lumen moonlight mode. And to get to that, well, I'm just going to hold it down. And there we go. From here, you can cycle through all your other modes. Notice it only so cycles through low, medium, and high. So low is uh, 20 lumens, 60 lumens, and 120 lumens. If at any point, say it's off or whatever, you want to get right to your high, just double click, and that gives you your 120 lumens. This is pretty bright for this little tiny LED, you know? Um, now, of course, it's not... You know, it's not a tactile light, it's not an EDC light, you're not going to use it to light up the woods. You know, it only throws 16 meters, but for an immediate area, you know, you're doing some work and you want to see what you're doing, or, or like that, it's a, it's a really convenient little light to have in a small area. And then you just click to turn it off. Um, you can hold it down again. Uh, when you click when it's off, it immediately goes to the moonlight mode, and then you can cycle through. Turn it off, back to moonlight mode, and then cycle through to get what you want. Uh, it's very convenient, very lightweight as these things go. 1.13 ounces, so pretty nice.
Now, the Hinderer version that I mentioned is, you know, titanium, so it's up in the hundreds of dollars. This one is a real bargain compared to that, but, you know, they all do the essentially the same thing. The Hinderer version doesn't have a light on it either. This is the kind of thing that is going to last you, and it actually writes pretty nice. It has a gel ink um, cartridge. Got some spare cutting money here. Um... Poop. Uh, no, it actually, it writes very nicely. Uh, not ideal if you're using right in the rain waterproof paper and stuff. You don't want to use gel ink on that, but uh, it flows really nice. You don't need to press down on it. It just, the ink comes out. And I get to see my bad handwriting. Hi, guys. I'm very comfortable to use. And again, you get uh, an ink refill. I'm not sure how much other ink refills are. You get the USB recharging cable. Not very long, but you know, I'm sure you can use whatever you want. It's just a cool little thing to have. And again, being a limited edition, um, that's cool too that you get to pick that up. So let's talk about pricing for the, the sale. So first of all, um, the sale starts January 25th, 8 p.m. It runs until 11.59 p.m. on January 26th. So it's just like a one-day sale. They're, they're special access. They're VIP customers, silver and above. It's like a club or a membership you can sign into. They'll have access to this starting January 22nd. But don't worry. They have limits to how much any individual can buy. Um, so they're not likely to run out of stuff all at once. Um, but anyway, the Open 2... Uh, normally runs for $60. It'll be on sale for $44.96. And the special edition of the i5T normally runs for $40. It'll be on sale for $31.96. There's, um, again, in the video description, there's some bundle bundling available, special pricing. And then there's, you know, some free stuff you can get if you spend uh, certain amounts of money. Um, that that will and, and then that other discount code that I have, you know, where you can get 10% off all the other stuff that's not part of the the Valentine's Day, you know, flash sale. It'll all be in the video description, along with the link to click to go right to the sale stuff. So um, this is cool. I'm actually going to carry this and use this. This will be part of my. Oh, I didn't show this. Replacing the ink cartridge, by the way, very easy. Um, you need to keep this spring, by the way. Now, I don't know if you can buy just aftermarket cartridges that fit this or if you have to shop from Olight. Um, but everything, by the way, if you noticed, rubber O-rings. So you got some water resistance built into this thing. So anyway, cool sell by Olight. One of my, one of my favorite brands. Um, I swear by Olight. I spend money on them myself. I use them all the time. Um, I love showing them on the channel. One of the best light companies, in my honest opinion. So definitely think you guys should check out the the sale on the website and see what you can save some money on they're still going to come out with the new i i don't think i i i mean i'm sure it's out there somewhere what the new product is going to be but I, I don't know if i'm supposed to talk about it that much but i'm excited to see it it's a it's a new coating um scratch resistant and all that kind of stuff i can't wait till they actually get it out should be really cool but this will hold us over for a little bit until then right so um definitely check it out um, or don't. It's free country, right? So, um, but it's worth at least looking into, I think. Why not? Anyway, hope you guys are excited about it. I, I am. I'm going to go see, um, you know, I'm going to use the code. I'm going to get something to save myself a little money. Uh -huh. So anyway, guys, remember that you are all absolutely awesome. I appreciate every single one of you. And um, I will be back again real soon.